question number 4 what is the sum of digits of the positive integer n where n is less than 99 you are given n is divisible by the square of y it does not help me obviously because it is involving y so not sufficient direct y to the power 4 is a 2 digit positive odd integer what does it tell you what is the value of y here y let's start with 1 so 1 to the power 4 would have been 1 it is odd but it is not 2 digit so not possible y equal to 2 y 2 to the power 4 is 16 it is not odd so it is also not fine y equal to 3 3 to the power 4 is equal to 81 odd also 2 digit also so this is one possibility y equal to 4 4 to the power 4 is 256 it is into 3 digits so the only way you can think about y is equal to 3 y is a 3 or minus 3 also possible can it be minus 3 also yes or no minus 3 to the power 4 will still be what 81 now you are given so first statement is not enough second alone is not enough then you are told n is divisible by the square of y what will be y square in any case so you are given n is divisible by 9 now how many numbers less than 99 are actually divisible by 9 please tell me 9 18 27 36 45 54 63 72 81 and 90 what is the sum of digits in all the cases in all the cases the sum of digits is coming out as 9 would it give me a different answer each time or same answer always what would you have marked now after telling you the solution what would you have marked is it giving me a unique answer or not a unique answer sum of digits is always the same as 9 or no in this case so what, what do you think sufficient or not sufficient to answer ok we have made one mistake I mean for I have intentionally made that mistake just to make you realize why so 1 to the power 4 is not a 2 digit number 1 and minus 1 are not allowed we have still done a mistake and that is yes please y to the power 4 is 2 digit number can I write y to the power 4 as 11 also or not please tell me in the second statement or is it wrong to write it please tell me y to the power 4 is a 2 digit positive order number what is the mistake I have done I have not done any mistake if I say y to the power 4 is 11 so intentionally I trapped you in the question and you did not really react also although in the previous question itself what was the learning from the second question second question what was your learning don't assume a number to be an integer right are we doing the same thing here or not so wrong approach totally y to the power 4 can be 11 y to the power 4 could be 25 y to the power 4 could be 49 y to the power 4 could be 81 who stops me now so if y is to the power 4 is 25 what would have been y square yeah I am sorry what are you saying no 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 no. that is not the point here. let us see ok forget these can I say these three numbers qualify for sure now y square could be 5 take the square root or y square could be 7 or y square could be 9 now I can say n is divisible by 5 or 7 or 9 can I take the value of n as 5 also 10 also 15 also is it giving me a unique sum of digits or different sum of digits think about it what is asked or I can take 7 or 14 or 21 or I can take 9 18 27 and so on is the sum of digits always unique or different 
different. So finally, this is not correct, and my answer is E. I hope it's clear. Any doubt here? Please tell. Now you would not believe that questions like this can go wrong sometimes. They are very easy problems. Normally we will not even believe that something like this can go wrong. But that's what 